so I am here with another unboxing. Listen, it's been a very, very, very crazy summer for me. I've never been busier in my life, like especially with something that is unpaid. I've been doing so much volunteer work for a, like, like all summer. And so, and then I pick stuff up as I go and I'm like, yes, I'll go to that. Yeah, sure, I'll be there, whatever you need. And it gets busy and um, I just don't know when to say no. Um, so I'm just like, uh, I finally have some time. Uh, I made some time today because I'm actually like, I was free for like a good amount of time, but then I was at this photo shoot today um, and then some of the guys that were there were like, hey, we're gonna go have brunch, come join us. It's on the house, da 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 da. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, free food, free liquor, I'm there. Um, and then I have two more events tonight and we're gonna see how this works and how it all plans out. Um, I also have school starting tomorrow, so that's going to be interesting. I have a whole new schedule with school and work and I have all new classes and we're gonna figure that out as we go. Tomorrow's going to be a very 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 long day. Let's just say that right now. It's going to be very very long. But I can do it. So today I have my Birchbox Man unboxing. I've had this for maybe like what are we the 20th? Oh so I've had it for almost almost three weeks. Um I've just been I'm busy. She's so busy. Uh Let's see who's here. Oh, Maddie's here. Michael's here. Jakarta's here. Oh, Jakarta was in um, Fort Worth for Urban Cowboy on Saturday. I missed it because I was doing gay bingo on Saturday. So sorry, girl. It's like the third or fourth time she's been here. I haven't seen her in like six years, almost seven years. And every time she's here, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Like I booked this months ago. Sorry, you told me last minute. Um, Anne is here. Okay, right, so here's the box. Let's open her up. Okay, it says, a method to your madness, an organized approach for your chaotic day. That is so me right now. Um, in this month's box, we rounded up products to better your habits, not to bend or break them because we're all weird creatures with a regimen. There are one, two, three, four, five. There's five items in here. And I think one of them is, oh, okay, so there's one, two, three, four. There's four life, um, not lifestyle items, there's four Products and one lifestyle item. I got so confused for a second. It says a kit for a kit for every concern: anti-aging, dry skin, traveling light. We've got you covered with the coordinated set of essentials that tackle your top issues. Let's get you squared away. Birchboxman.com/kits. Okay. So here are the first two things. These are Ursa Major Supernatural Four-in-One Essential Face Wipes. If you've guys seen any of my unboxings before, you should know I fucking hate 4-in-1, 10-in-1, all-in-1 bullshits. These are, it says every clear, healthy skin, oh, enjoy clear, healthy skin. Use this ambitextrous, that's a Harvard word. Face wipe, it cleans, exfoliates, soothes, and hydrates anytime to reboot dull, dry, or oily skin at the office after a ride on the road. I have two of these. They're, I guess, made in Waterbury, Vermont. I don't like all-in-one things. Um, that's just me. But And I've never even heard of this brand. But the thing is about Birchbox is that the products are mostly good, um, but the prices are fucking ridiculous. So let's see how much these are. Okay, for the full size of these, which I don't know how many come in the full size, it's $24. I can go to CVS right now and get Neutrogena face wipes, makeup remover wipes for $6.99. Just putting that out there. 
It says, stow these in your glove box or carry on to use before your next happy hour, outdoor wedding, or last minute hangs. I'll try them. I'm not going to buy them. I'm not going to buy a full size for 24 fucking dollars. Um, but hey, I have two to try. We'll see if I like them. The next one is Clinique for Men Broad Spectrum SPF 21 Moisturizer. These. A full size of this is $27. It says, before you leave the house, rain or shine, smooth, smooth a dime-sized amount over your face and neck. I already have a couple of fucking day creams and stuff. That just fell to the floor. What is Dion saying? Because she's just a shady bitch. You need a script. Yeah, that's not fun though. I know somebody else was here. Jamie's here, Teresa's here, Sergio's here, Christy's here, Desiree's here. Let's do this. I always fucking do that, I don't know why. It smells okay. It looks yellow. Can y'all see that? It's yellow. I don't know if I want to put yellow stuff on my face. It smells like... It might as well just be sunblock. Just put sunblock on your skin, on your face. Because that's exactly what this smells like. And why SPF of 21? Why can't it be like... SPF 10 or 20. Why does that have to be 21? I don't, I've never understood that. That just makes no sense to me. Just take 1% away or add another 4% and make it a good rounded number. Oh well. Um, okay, so my lifestyle item is from Every Man. It is a Porter Key Knife. It is worth $21. It says, open your latest birch box and crack open a cold one with this key-shaped pocket knife and bottle opener duo. Um, okay. Oh, they're fancy. They have a little sticker there. That's probably why it costs $21 for the sticker. This is cute. It's not worth $21 right off the bat. This is like some hardware shit. Okay, so here's the key. Here's the opener. I'm trying to figure. Y'all, if I cut myself, y'all are witnesses to the poor design. I don't know how this shit. I don't know how, and then it came with this. Like what the fuck is this? What is that? Is that? There are no instructions. Is that like the key? Oh, there might be a key ring. Oh, okay, it's like the keychain part. If there's instructions, I wouldn't have to ask stupid questions. Just kidding, I'd still ask a stupid question. If I could, oh, here it is. Okay. There you go. That's what you get for $21. It's sharp, but it's a bitch to open and a, if I could close it. It's a bitch to open and a bitch to close. Not safe at all. So, $21 for a can opener. I'm just saying. Or for a fucking bottle opener. Have a good day. Have to go heading to the water park. Oh, pee in the pool for me. I always do. Um, I'm not impressed. I think that's overpriced for something that doesn't really work that well. It's not, like, that great. I mean, it's not... Like, oh, do you need me to open up... <laughs> A 20 by 20 cardboard box, let me get my little fucking knife that takes so long to open. It's not practical. It's not, it's not worth $21, but whatever. 
The next one is by Marlo. It is the number 141 shave cream. This is actually affordable. The full size for this is $8.99. I can do that. My mom's finally talking to me again. She says, I have a similar one. Love it. Got mine at Harbor Freight for $1.99. I would pay $1.99 for that. Maybe. But not $21 fucking dollars. This says, ready to banish razor burn? Question mark. Use this shea butter and coconut oil packed formula to nourish, hydrate, and tame inflammation. $8.99 is not bad. I can do $8.99 because there's some at Target that are a little more than that. Although this is very... This is not... I mean... That is... Does it seem like shaving cream it shaves like it feels like shaving lotion it doesn't really have it says paraben free phylate free not tested on animals made in the usa cute cute i like i feels nice after cleansing base, massage cream into facial hair and apply a layer onto skin, shave, and then rinse. I guess whenever you have, okay, it kind of like foams up a little bit. Can you read some ingredients? It says water, myristic acid, potassium hydroxide, steric acid, propylene glycol, and like, I know there's the shea butter, the coconut oil, willow bark extract. Um, I know there's fruit extract. There's glycerin, sodium hydroxate. What else is here? Jazbawa. You fabulous. It seems nice. It feels nice. There's not much scent, like it's not um, like floral or anything. It just it smells clean and like a shaving cream should be. And my final, which I'm actually the most excited, is by Original Penguin. It is a premium blend cologne sample. It says a quick spray on your wrist is great, but a spritz on the back of your neck will give a sweet arrival to the next person you hug. It is this little guy. Ooh, Rendezvous is here. Uh -uh. It is made in the USA. Yep. I love the packaging for this. This is so cute. It's very penguin. Penguin. Let's spray this. Mm -hmm. I wish that was a big spray. Oh, that smells good. It's better than that Cartier for like 172 or whatever the fuck it was. This reminds me of, um, what is it? Fierce by Afrikami and Fitch, but less sweet. That's nice. I like that one. I like that one. Um, here's the thing. Out of the four, well, out of the five items that were in the box, we all need a little penguin in our lives. We do. Out of the four that were in our box, I'm excited for Original Penguin and the Marlow Shape Cream. Everything else, I'm like, whatever. Only because the Clinique for Men is $27 for the full size. The Everyman Porter Key Knife is a waste of metal and is $21. And these wipes are $24 for the full size, which I don't know how many come in the full size. Um, I think that's just too much for an all-in-one wipe. I think you can find better ones at fucking CVS or something. 
but that's just my opinion. Um, this is like the second time that I've had like a, not a bad experience, but just like a not great experience with the Birchman boxes. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, I know it's $20 a month and for what I've been getting the last couple of months, it's not worth $20, especially when you are getting something like a sample of Clinique, which is $27. That's a little steep. And, you know, these wipes are $24. That's like, okay, that's a little much. Like, some of these are items are, like, higher end or, like, luxury or something. Because I know they have, like, that Cartier sa uh, cologne sample that I had last time that I got last month in the box. And it was, like, over $100. And I'm like, that's not practical. Like, some of these items are, like, practical and they're like, hey, almost anybody can afford, um, you know, $8.99 shave cream. Let's be real. But $24 face wipes, that's not, that's not something that, oh, I need that in my life. It's $24. Why would I spend $24 on face wipes when I can get them from Neutrogena for $6.99? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, so if you want to sign up, <laughs> After that awesome pitch I gave you, uh, it's twenty dollars a month, and it comes you know once a month, and you can sign up for I think three, six, or twelve months. And I think the whatever you sign up for, if you paid in full, you get like a small discount. I think I don't know. Um, I liked it in the beginning because it was really cute. The products were better; they were more affordable. The the lifestyle items were actual items, like I have a tie and so like a notebook and. Um, was that a key or not a key thing of um, like a money clip those are things I will use but this thing I don't know what that that can't open a beer bottle and you can't barely you fucking get the knife out so you can cut a box so I don't understand that's not just it's not practical word of the day practical and what is this not so we're gonna see if I even test any of these things out we'll figure it out Anyway, that's it for my unboxing. I will see y'all on the next one.